Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In today's episode, we are going to see an interesting software which is called Parallels Desktop 15. Uh, and I've been using Parallels Desktop software for virtualization purpose to run Windows inside my Mac computer since version 9. And I'm pretty much happy with the performance it offers. And I mostly use it for you know gaming purposes. Like I still can't uh, get rid of my games, especially the Windows games of uh, the Microsoft Rise of Nation and um, uh, the Counter-Strike Condition Zero. So these games are my favorite for uh, all the time and uh, I need Windows only for gaming purposes uh, to use it within my Mac computer. For productivity reasons, I still have to depend on a uh, Mac computer. We will be seeing some important feature highlights and before that, I like to uh, give some of my personal opinion. Uh, who is it for actually? Whether you need to pay this much money for you know every year uh, in terms of you know licensing purchase and for renewal uh, or not? And is that any free alternatives uh, for Parallels Desktop 15 and what are the uh, limits it has. So I'll first I like to share those things before you know diving into the process. I also have some suggestions about like how you can save some money uh, with the new purchase of Parallels Desktop 15 software or upcoming the Parallels Desktop software and uh, even while upgrading every year when the next version comes out uh, there are possibilities to save some money like 10%, 15% or maximum up to 20% uh, discount on Parallels desktop software. So I like to share those opinion as well. And you know, before that, I like to start how to install Windows and um, you know, just give a little walkthrough on how to install it. And when the installation progresses, I'll share you the rest of my idea. So here you can see when you install the Parallels uh, desktop software on your Mac computer, you will be seeing that this is the first screen. It'll ask you whether uh, it needs to download Windows by itself from Microsoft server, but I have selected skip option. And uh, this is the page where I can choose if I have the bootable USB of Windows uh, with the proper licensed or I have created one, I can use it. And if there is a PC connected to it, I can uh, transfer the data and everything from uh, the PC. If I have installed a bootcamp version of Windows, I can do it here too. And what I'm going to do now is right now I have a image file with me and below that you can see the free operating systems list. You can install Ubuntu Linux and uh, Fedora and then CentOS if you are going to manage server. Um, so all these things can be done easily with this uh, list of options. You can also install Mint Linux or Android. All right, so I'm going to give next and here it has automatically detected the documents folder stored file, which is the installation file, the ISO file of Windows 10. So and it for the searches, if it is not here, you can click on choose manually and you can help the parallels installation wizard to locate the file. So click on continue. And if I have a Windows key, I can enter it here. I'm going to enter it later. I have one with my email ID. I'll do that later. So here the primary use for Windows. So based on this, it will allocate the storage space, the RAM memory, the graphics, GPU uh, allocation, everything. The hardware allocation will be done based on what you're going to select in this particular uh, wizard. So I'm going to select the games only. I'm not going to use it for productivity or any other purposes uh, with this Windows. So click on next and then uh, it will be stored. The, the particular file, virtual machine file will be stored as Windows 10 in uh, this location. So right now I have, uh, oh, it, it will take 21.47 GB of disk space. All right. And it is creating. So it will create the boot partition and everything, you know, the virtualization environment all by itself and if any assistance required it will ask me uh, any further data needs to be uh, given this will use the camera application that looks auspicious um, i'm going to give don't allow access to the microphone oh i think it needs these access to make it work with the windows operating system okay temporarily i'm going to disconnect uh, these features if i need it i can enable it in future is now starting to install the windows all right it's time for us to talk a little bit i'll fast forward the process because it'll take a little uh, extra time i need to choose whether windows 10 pro or home okay the mouse is not behaving properly i'm going to select pro i have the license for the pro Okay, and it has started to copy the files. So to get the cursor out of this virtual environment, there you can see Control plus Alt to free the cursor. Okay, so I have pressed it. All right, so let's start with the discussion. So the important thing is, uh, 
who is it for and are there any free options available uh, you know other than the parallels desktop software where you need to pay $79 if you're planning to use it for home purposes or student license uh, that you're planning to purchase and if you need a pro license to have uh, many other functionalities like gaming option you know developers for uh, testers you know those people will be looking for the pro version which comes around $99.99 if you're planning to use it for business purposes then you need extra options and tool sets that parallels offers and in that case you'll be paying the $99.99 uh, for the first year and if you want to renew it you have to renew it otherwise it won't work the parallels will stop working uh, in my personal opinion I have faced that every year so if you need to renew it and uh, you have the usage of Windows then you have to pay $49.99 every year so for you know getting the next latest version to make your Windows run seamlessly inside your Mac operating system so the important question is who is it for if you have the Windows usage uh, you know very important for your business works or for you know a word processing work you are not ready to invest another you know few license purchases that you have already licensed for windows version of the softwares that you are uh, going to use then obviously you can uh, purchase the parallels desktop license for uh, $79 or $99 the application dependency is the important thing you have to decide so some people need the mac computer for their uh, you know some application reasons and uh, for security purposes and for uh, you know their company must have provided them the mac and uh, it is important for them to stay with the Apple ecosystem uh, in order to do all their transactions. So for several reasons are there for getting a Mac. So in that scenario, you can choose Parallels desktop software. And another important reason is if you need the deep integration that Parallels is going to offer, you have a Mac computer with SSD storage that I must tell you, uh, it is a very important thing. If you have a hard disk powered MacBook Pro or iMac, then I won't recommend Parallels uh, software for you to consider because uh, any virtualization software will be slow first consider if it is possible for you to upgrade the hard disk storage uh, to ssd storage then you can go for virtualization which will be uh, very useful for you to uh, run both operating systems simultaneously in a faster speed without affecting each other so that is important thing when you need that deep integration like applications that you install in windows within this mac computer within this parallels environment will be accessible to you in the mac as well the dock will also display the applications that you have kept opened in your windows operating system that is currently running uh, inside the parallels so you have to decide that sort of integration is required and uh, so far i haven't faced any crashes or any problems reboots or anything else with the uh, while playing gaming when i uh, use uh, parallels for installing windows and you know using the counter strike condition zero or the rise of nation uh, from the microsoft so everything runs smooth and i never had any issues with the parallels so if you need such error free experience then this will be the right choice and what is the free alternative uh, that is available that i'm going to suggest to you today is uh, it is called virtual box it is available for windows by default you can install multiple operating system and uh, inside the windows operating system without you know the need for uh, rebooting the machine so the same thing is available here in mac and the virtualbox.org i think so you can visit that website i'll leave a link to that website in the description of this video so that is a good option for people who don't have have that serious work with windows and you know you don't who don't need the deep integration that parallels offers and the premium level of support the tech support and if there is any problem you can always reach out to them at first 99.99 percent there won't be any problem so if you're okay with such experience you have used premium softwares before and you want to stay with it then you can consider the parallels otherwise the virtual box will be the best alternative if you are like me just who, who is going to play only for games and uh, you can consider the virtual box uh, if the application dependency is very less and you can manage everything on your own if there is any error uh, or any uh, hiccups you face then absolutely the virtual box is sufficient for you you don't need to spend 99 dollars for the parallels license and then you don't need to shell out like 49 dollars every year so these are the important feature highlights i just wanted to mention and oh my god the installation i've completed 
successfully and um, okay it switched to full screen i'm going to cancel it and minimize it to i can swipe left and right with my magic mouse without any problem i can resize it you know resize the entire operating system just like you know resizing a web browser and the resolution everything is automatically adjusted you know within the parallels desktop environment so it is amazing and the cursor support seems to be a little bit faster i can control that from the um, the hardware changes uh, the control center i believe this is kind of a default thing that we normally do uh, all right so more than google chrome i am kind of a fan of uh, firefox let's run it yes as you can see the mac is imac 2019 model that i'm currently using so it has ssd storage on both slots so the speed is amazing um, so don't forget that like if you have hard disk storage space don't consider uh, parallels that is my strong suggestion uh, only if you have ssd storage in with your mac like after the mac that purchased from you know like 2013 macbook pros and then uh, 2015 macbook pros and after that are uh, very good at uh, ssd storage uh, speed both read and write speed are wonderful so you can consider those Macs with, uh, you know, when you try to run the virtualization, copy paste something just for example, like how the deep integration works. So here you can see notepad, hi, hello world. So I'm going to select the options are same. Like you won't be uh, feeling, uh, you know, the difference between the uh, key controls with the ma magic mouse on the keyboard, you know, it won't be much difference. All the keyboard uh, functions that works with your Mac will work with your Windows environment as well. So you don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to press Control Alt Option to free up the cursor. And I'm going to open notes here, here inside the notes. As you have seen that I have copied the text there. So here when I paste it, it works perfectly. So that's how the clipboard is shared between the multiple operating systems that you're going to install. And every data, the pictures, the, the movies that you want to transfer in between, you know, through and forth, everything will work perfectly fine. So now you have got Windows perfectly inside your Mac operating system. Without the need for rebooting, you'll be working the Windows related applications uh, right here with your Mac computer. And you can take it to standby mode. You can continue from where you have left off. And another important thing is the hardware configurations, as you can and see the labels here are clearly showing the processor the keyboard setup the usb connectivity uh, the microphone if i have any usb accessories attached i can access everything from here if you want to limit the hardware specifications or increase the graphics memory you have to turn off the windows virtual machine first in the parallels window and then you can configure all of them here you can uh, allocate more CPU power, more RAM memory. By default, as you can see, the RAM memory here allocated is, I have 32 GB of memory, and here it is around 20 GB of memory, which is automatically you know, managed by the uh, parallel software depending on the usage that I do with the Mac computer and with the parallels. So everything is done automatically and I just want to leave it that way. Only if I have requirement of any specific application that I'm going to run with Windows, then I can increase it manually. So here they do have the Retina display support. That is wonderful and every text and everything looks sharp and precise. I have the 5K display and it looks crisp and clear. So this is how uh, you can uh, you know easily uh, install Windows with parallels. And finally, the offers and discounts news so the parallels you know frequently runs like two to three months once uh, they bring some promotional offers like 10 percent or 15 percent offers uh, for new customers and for people who are going to upgrade from their existing uh, license if you are going to purchase it uh, if it is not urgent then you can wait for such offers i'll keep you posted uh, with the link i provided the first link that i have provided in this video description uh, when you visit that link if there is any latest offers available it be placed there so you can click on it and you can uh, avail that latest offer there are several bundle offers that where you can get parallel software combined with many other productive and uh, entertainment related mac applications i will do include such offers you know periodically as soon as it available uh, in the link provided in the description of this video and these offers mostly you know available for both the new users who are going to purchase the parallels desktop for first time and who already have the license and want to upgrade it for 49.99 dollars so extra savings of like if you are planning to renew it next year and when you do the renewal at the right time of offers then you can save like around seven to ten dollars maximum while buying it with the bundle offers or with exclusive discounts available so 
I believe this video gave you a better idea about like how parallels actually work and how easy it is to install Windows inside your Mac computer without the need for reboot. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Mac related tips and tutorials. And feel free to share this video if you think it might be useful for some other people as well who are you know in the need of Windows operating system inside their Mac. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.